Hi guys, it's Angel from Angel Sky TV. Today's your weekly medicine tarot reading for the week of August 6th. We are entering into a full moon partial lunar eclipse in Aquarius. Bam! So, I highly recommend you lock yourself up. Aquarius, remember, is ruled by Uranus, which is the planet of unexpected events. Um, so you do want to... Um, you just want to like err on the side of caution, I guess, in 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 this instance. Um, any moon in Aquarius, I always find myself hiding, just because Aquarius is square my sun, and I always end up getting kicked in the butt when uh, the moon's in Aquarius for whatever reason. Um, for example, my car wouldn't start, my phone wouldn't work. There's all these other issues happening. Um, most those types of things are associated with Mercury and I do know we're entering into a Mercury retrograde at some point this month as well on August 21st we are entering we're entering into a solar eclipse so there will be a solar eclipse on that date so there's a lot of beginnings and endings relationships breaking up this month August is just gonna be a shit show guys I just gotta tell you um, not to scare anybody, but just to be prepared. Um, again, that solar eclipse is going to be in Leo. Leo is a bit of a drama queen, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. Let's look at this week. Let's close our eyes. We will ask the angelic realm and the elementals to guide this reading for the week of August 6th. We'll see what's happening this week. Um, and remember, I am a novice astrologer. I just I study it as a hobby. I in no way consider myself an expert. And I, I say that because I do have a lot of astrologer friends, and they are really, really, um, you know, adept in in the uh, in the planets, how they influence and impact us because they do influence us. So a lot of people think, you know, they associate their mood or their feelings with just maybe what they eat or lack of sleep or even the people around them, which is all true. They all, those uh, do influence our emotions, our feelings, and whatnot. But the planets also do that, so just remember that. Sometimes if, you know, if you've gone through your list of what's bothering me and I can't figure it out, you know, I have nothing to be bothered by, um, check into the planets. Sometimes that's that holds the key to why you're feeling what you're feeling. All right, so I'm just shuffling till I'm guided to stop. We're gonna get clear answers this week from the guides for the week of August 6th. All right, so let's see, the beginning of the week, middle of the week, and end of the week, looking like a great week. Oh, there's my cat, Gatto. Gatto, get out of here. Sorry about that, guys. So the beginning of the week, um, the guides are talking about taking steps to ensure your financial future and security for your family. Um, so take some time to plan, make some wise investments. This is all related to money and, um, and long-term planning in terms of money and security for your family. Um, the guides are also saying to honor family traditions. So, you know, if you've been sort of um, doing things in a way that's sort of opposite of what you have grown up doing, and you're finding that's not working for you, maybe try to just go back to your roots and, you know, do things a little bit more traditional. Um, Maybe that means, uh, for those of you watching, rather than have both parents working in the home, which is a more modern approach, and your kids are off to daycare, and you're finding that to be financially difficult because it is quite expensive, especially if you have several children in daycare, maybe one of you choose to stay home, um, take care of the home front, save some money on childcare, Yes, you do lose that second income, but you know maybe you can go part time rather than full time. So just try to figure out a way to do things a little bit more traditionally rather than following mainstream culture that's not always practical and actually 
logical. Sometimes some of the things that most people are doing make absolutely no sense. Um, the guides are showing me an SUV for some reason, so I'm thinking, for me, that symbolizes, like, the status of a family, you know, the SUV, the big screen television. Um, so maybe, you know, you don't need all those things that everybody sort of aspires to have, these, these items, these large pieces of material that sort of identifies you as being someone who is successful in this modern day world. Um, so maybe look more traditional, like making things more simple is what the guides are saying. Simplify your life, getting rid of things rather than acquiring more things. Um, downsizing rather than trying to, you know, get bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's the beginning of the week. So it sounds like to start the week off in the full moon lunar eclipse, take some time to really let go of some of some belief systems that are not providing you long-term security for you and your family. So trying to find ways to be happy with what you have rather than comparing yourself to what your neighbor has and wishing you had that as well. Uh, middle of the week, it's a really high intuitive um, messages will come to you. Um, the guys are saying through dreams in the middle of the week. Um, and you have to trust that what you're, those dreams that you're getting are um, accurate. So Dream, the dream world is very interesting. It works in symbology, so a lot of times people get confused by that. And just going back to what I said about the SUV, the guide showed me that symbol, and then they showed me a large flat screen television. Now for me, those two things are, are items that I uh, associate with um, modern culture and striving towards uh, material wealth. But for someone else, those symbols don't necessarily mean the same thing. So it's important to recognize what your symbolic language is. And the best way is when you have a dream and you get a symbol in your dream, like for example, you might dream that you've died. And that's obviously something that people freak out about, but actually most times that's actually a good thing. It doesn't mean that you're going to die. I mean, it could mean that, but generally it means a part of you is dying. So tune into what has happened leading up to your death in your dream. So there's lots of ways to read into dreams. And honestly, people that claim to be dream experts, I don't know. I think that that's debatable because everybody's symbolic um, dictionary is very different. So you have to learn your own dictionary. Like when I work with my guides, I have to recognize the images that they're sending me and I just always ask myself the question like what does that symbol mean to me and when and then when I work with clients you know I will get a symbol for them but I have to ask them like what does the symbol mean to you because this is what it means to me and I'm not feeling that that's the same we have the same symbolic language um, so middle of the week um, you might get these insights again through dreams, but also through meditation. If you're really, if you have a really good meditation practice, you might be getting them through meditation. Now the guides are saying that two weeks after the lunar eclipse is a really uh, trying time sometimes for people, particularly in this case with people that have a Taurus sun or strong Taurus influence in their chart or a uh, Scorpio sun or strong Scorpio influence in their chart. So those two signs are going to find it um, particularly difficult in not necessarily a bad way, but it's just going to um, maybe give you the opportunity to go inward to dig a little bit deeper um, to figure out what you really need, what you don't want. Um, so lots of deep, deep intuitive insight middle of the week. End of the week, I'm seeing um, a lot of us will come to a point where we're just going to say, you know, the hell with all of this. I'm just embracing my true purpose. And that's what's encouraged. If you're, if you're feeling this pull to just let so many things go, do it. I encourage you to do it. But at the same time, don't make any long-term commitments. Just maybe mentally do it.
mentally prepare to do it and wear it mentally for a week or two and see how it feels. If it feels amazing that you've, for example, let go of a partner just mentally, like your, your um, husband or wife or something like that, you're like, okay, in my mind I'm broken up with them, I'm going to behave like I am broken up with them, just for one week I'm going to act as if we're not even together. And if that feels amazing to you, then that might be a good idea, like, good direction to move into. And of course, I'm not encouraging people to break up with their partners, but I'm just saying this is the type of energy that a lot of us will be experiencing is just really being seduced by these uh, feelings of like, okay, this is no longer working, this is no longer working, I have to end this, I have to end this, and I have to end this, which can bring up other feelings of being terrified because a lot of these things have held you together for so long. So it's a, um, a time of renewal, a time of death, a time of rebirth, um, which again is a time of transformation and can be very difficult and trying for many, many people. At the end of this tunnel there is a light, so hold on tight. Um, this card, this dreamer card is a good um, card for us to remember. Just begin your new adventure, trust yourself, and embrace your true purpose because now is the time. And the interesting thing about it is the planets aren't going to let you diddle, diddle, diddle dally anymore. You're not going to be able to just suck it up and go to that job or be with that person that you really don't want to be with anymore. It's just going to all fall apart whether you do anything or not. So I encourage you to do something rather than to just let it fall apart. Like go with that flow because then it will feel more like a choice. Which it always feels better when you make the choice rather than it be chosen for you even if you wanted it anyways, deep down inside. And I do know and feel that this is something you've been asking for for a really long time. Um, and it's coming. So, I mean, you know, remember that when things are changing. And I'm not trying to scare you. I don't like to do that. Um, but I do want to prepare you for this month. But this is obviously just the weekly reading. So we'll break it down again next week. I will see you back here, and I'll talk to you soon, and take care of yourself. Bye now.